Good morning, YouTube family. Um, I tried to do a video for y'all the other day, but apparently the Lord did not want me to do it. Because it, it would start, stop, start, stop, and then halfway through the video, it, it what the rest of the video wasn't there. And I was like, okay, Lord. And I tried it twice, so I was like, eh. You know, sometimes we need to watch and listen for these things. It's not always the adversary. <laughs> anyway, very quickly, you guys. I, I've... I've been working a lot more lately, which is good. Uh, a good positive thing, you know, because that's money is good. <laughs> we all need that. Um, but it, it it limits my time that I get to spend with y'all, and I don't like that. But the Lord's moving. He's working. I have some encouragement for you this morning. The Lord put on my heart while I was getting ready, so I want to share that with you. I heard something really cool on TikTok. I want to share it with you. I'm not sure how to download and transfer somebody else's video over to YouTube. But if I can figure that out, I will try and do that for you guys. But I don't think you're allowed to do that because that's their content. But anyway. Sweet dear sister Emily Rose on TikTok got a revelation from the Lord that's amazing. And I want to share it with you. There's safe, S-A-F-E, safe faith, and there's active faith. Jesus and the disciples, they were on the boat in the middle of the storm, and Peter and Jesus calls Peter out upon the water. This is the scripture, the context of the scripture that she was given. Those that were in the boat with Jesus are safe. They're in Christ, with Christ, safe. Going to heaven, saved, sealed, to the day of the redemption, safe. But Peter was called out upon the waters. We all know what the waters are. <laughs> the sea of humanity. Peter was called out with Jesus. Yes. Active faith. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? And in active faith, we can take our eyes off the Lord and sing. It's, it's a possibility. However, Jesus will reach down and grab us every single time. And not only that, but I've experienced but that the Lord won't let you slip in the first place. It's been my experience. Because... <laughs> It's hard, y'all. <laughs> but I would not trade it for anything. I'm having so much fun, you guys. And I mean that truly from my heart. I'm having so much fun. Even in in, in the worst of the worst and the, and the best of the best, I would not trade this for anything. It's been amazing. Safe faith. You know, people who are comfortable waiting on the rapture. They're comfortable just being in Christ. And there's nothing wrong with that. And then there's active faith. Being active in faith, doing what the Lord is asking you to do uh, amongst the sea of humanity. And guys, there's so many voices out there. I almost got discouraged the other day because there is so many voices out there. I'm like, Lord, there's so many. Praise his holy name, right? There's so many proclaiming and speaking Christ Jesus our Lord. There's so many. And I'm just one of many. One of many and I felt almost insignificant, but the ear can't say to the foot, I have no need of you, and the eye can't say to the mouth, we don't need you. So, that's how the Lord comforts me. <laughs> if you're in a rut, if you feel like you're kind of stuck, um, I don't know about some of you, but I know there there's some of us who if we're not battling in spirit for the Lord, we get anxious and bored. <laughs> yes, 
I'm speaking true. If you're kind of in a rut, I want to give you what Sister Renee gave me at the time when I was in a rut. Oh, gosh, many years ago now. And it helped me very much, so let me share. Jesus, God, cannot steer a parked car. Now, you can sit in the car, you can sit in the vessel, you can sit in the ship and be safe, saved, sealed for eternity. But if you got it in park, it can't be steered. The steering wheel's locked, right? That helped me. Kind of got a kick in my butt and I was like, makes sense to me, let's go. <laughs> so, if you're in a rut, I hope that helps you. It helped me many, many, many years ago. Just go out and do something that, anything that the Lord is leading you to do. Whatever, whatever that looks like, yes. All good things come from the Father. So if it is anything good, do it in the name of Jesus Christ and it'll get you rolling again. Okay? Just wanted to share, guys. I, I'm, I'm at work. I have, I have to go into work. Uh, that's why I got my shirt. I got. I had to hold my shirt together because <laughs> the name of my workplace is right here. But I, I miss you guys. I love you guys. Um, I hope this is edifying to you, guys. I'm, I'm walking with the Lord during the day and at night. We are. <laughs> oh, I wanted to share. When I woke up, when I woke up last night. The Lord gave me an awesome, most amazing revelation. Normally, I, I write these things down as well as like my dreams. I'll write it down. But I woke up and I was so tired from working these hours. When I woke up, I, I had it in my remembrance and I and I, I, and I, I wanted to write it down, but my body wouldn't move. <laughs> and I didn't write it down. And I, I'm kicking, I'm still kicking myself in the butt about that. Because that was a good one. And I don't remember what it was. But the Lord is, is with me, showing me things in spirit every night. It's amazing. During the day, he, was, he is with me. It's just been a beautiful ride, you guys. So I hope he's doing the same for you. I hope that you are walking fully in the fullness of Christ Jesus, our Lord. And I hope that you are fully in his his calling and his will for you and your life. All right. All right, guys. Peace and grace.